How do you embed podcast episodes onto your website? As more and more of my students and clients are podcasting, this is a question that is coming up more and more frequently. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to embed a podcast onto your website's blogging section. Now, since I designed in Show It, which uses WordPress for the blogging section, this tutorial will be helpful for anyone who uses Show It or WordPress for their website and blog. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your WordPress dashboard where you're going to be blogging and you're going to come down to the link that says posts. When you hover over it, a box over here will pop up and you're going to click all posts. Now, if you don't have any posts written yet or published, then this is going to be blank in this section. I've already added a few here, but when you're ready to add your first one or a new one, you're just going to go to this button that says add new post. And then from here, it's going to take you right into the place where you type everything. Now, I do suggest if you're typing a lot of stuff out that you write it in like a Word doc first and then copy and paste it over. If you already have all your podcast episodes set, though, and you have the show description in there, you can just copy and paste. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to put in the title of your podcast episode. Um, whatever that may be, if you want to put episode one dash and then put the title, you can do that. That's what I'm doing for my client. But you do want to make sure that you have the keywords in there that you're looking to rank for. If you're unfamiliar with how to do SEO on your posts here and you really want to learn how to get them found, then definitely check out my content creation blueprint course. I will put a link to it in the description below. Okay, so we're going to add our title here. Then once we have that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to embed the podcast player onto the site here. So I'm going to go to the site where my client's podcast is. You would do this for yours. So I'm going into Spotify here and I'm pulling this one right here. So when I click on it, uh, there should be some buttons and every player is going to be different, but the ones that I'm looking for are here and it's going to say share and I'm going to embed the episode. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to copy this. You can show the code if you want, but we're going to copy the code and then we're going to come back to our WordPress doc here. And from here, we're going to click this plus button for adding a block. And we're going to click a custom HTML here. Now there is an embed one, but when you click this, it's going to ask for a link. So this is great if you're embedding a YouTube video, you would just paste in the YouTube link here. But since we have code, what we're going to actually do is we're going to click that plus and we're going to go to custom HTML and we're going to paste in that code that we got. And it's on the back end, it's going to look just like code. But if when, when you publish it or when you preview it here, you can come up here and preview it. It's going to um, show the player where you can actually play the episode. Now, you can just leave it like this with just the episode. But what I highly recommend for SEO purposes is putting your episode description here as well. Because um, whatever keywords you're trying to rank for, you want to make sure is in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more information information here. I'm going to add a block and I'm going to put a little spacer, which is going to put some space between the actual podcast episode and our text. Usually you will have some space, but with a podcast player, it's just not giving me any space when I've done it with the other ones. So I'm just putting a little space in here. You may or may not need to do that. And then I'm going to add another block. I'm going to put a heading and we're going to make this say episode um, description. Now you can put whatever you want here. This is just what I'm putting for the sake of this tutorial. And then below it, I'm going to hit enter. And then here you can either hit the plus to do a paragraph or you can just paste in the text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Spotify and I'm going to pull the episode show notes. So here I have the episode description and I'm just going to take the show notes here I'm going to highlight them all and I'm going to copy them. I'll hit control C or you can right click and copy. And then I'm going to go back to our post here. And in here, I'm just going to simply paste in all the show note information. 
Now, just like every other post, you're going to come in here and you're going to update your Yoast SEO, your categories, your tags. You're going to add a featured image. This is the image that will show up on your blog roll. You're going to make sure that down the bottom here, you have your focus key phrase. And if you're not sure how to do all of these things, this is all in my content creation a blueprint course. It walks you through step by step how to find keywords, how to rank, how to update your Yoast SEO, add your featured image categories, tags, all of that stuff. Then once you set your featured image and add everything in, you're going to hit publish. So then it will show up right here on your blog roll. And if you actually click here or here, it will take you right into the post we just did. Here is the podcast episode that we embedded. And then below it is the episode show notes. And that is how you embed podcast episodes and your show notes onto the blogging section of your website. If you like this video, please like it, share it with anyone who you think could benefit from it, and make sure to follow me for more information about show it web design and content creation.